So let's check out that pathway, see where it leads, and yeah, honestly I don't remember much about this level, which is why I think it could be rather hard. I know it's not nearly as hard as the levels that come after it, but still, at least I remember something about these. This one though, nah, not a thing. Uh, I think I covered the issue early in episode 2, I think, about levels that I didn't remember much of, and... Oh yeah, now I remember that one! It's... it's... it's like that huge hallway that covers the entire length of the level, kinda like the, lo the Long and Ruler straight road from level 19, except this one is much larger and there are like those walls all over the place which make sneaking up on you that much easier so I gotta keep watching my back constantly first things first though I'm gonna keep going straight and then I'm gonna turn around and see if there's anything and there was something I'm surprised those pirates and devils can keep up with me so easily because I just kept running so anyway as for the power-ups in this level there's supposed to be a lightning bolt somewhere but since I don't remember the first thing about this level other than that really long main area of sorts well it's gonna be rather tough to find because I of course I don't remember where the lightning bolt even is so where does this lead Oh, not another one of those ridiculously small pillars that form a maze, kind of like in, in level 11, and it's really annoying because really, who couldn't slip past those pillars? But I, I, gotta, fall, I gotta find all the way around those pillars since, well, supposedly they take up the entire space of the tile they're on, instead of just, you know, the few square inches that the, the pillars cover, but no, they cover the entire tile. Guess that wasn't the right way. Let, let me try the other way. It's probably gonna be it, and it's a rather large path at that, so I'm surprised I didn't find it as quickly as I didn't. Whatever! So, I am in a brand new area now, I don't know where it leads, but there, there it looks, it looks like there's a lot of pathways to take, and it's going to be rather difficult to explore them and, you know, keep track of where I've been, since there doesn't look like there are many doors in this area, except to go into rooms that I presume only have, you know, potions and cloaks and food and the like. Would be, would be really stupid uh, in one way if uh, one of those rooms actually had the lightning bolt, but I doubt it. I don't remember, I, I really don't remember where, where the lightning bolt is. So, what's over there? Looks like another area. So, let's check it out. Oh, it's a walkthrough wall, of course. Oh! I was about to say not very subtle, but I couldn't see the pirate or the devil that was inside. I don't know which one it was, but... Okay, now I remember! The, the lightning bolt is in this area! No, not that one. Whoa, whoa, what's shooting me? Okay, so the pirate was shooting me from behind, so the first reflex I have was to go behind. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Of course, I there was no way to know if it was a pirate in that bedroom area that was shooting me, but oh well. Found the lightning bolt, so it's all good. Come on! Stop going straight! Find the pirates, you stupid missiles! You're supposed to be homing missiles! Well, unless it was confused because there was one pirate on each side, so I'm gonna say it just in case it's a trap like in level 6. And it is! When you know it, there was a pool ball behind it. So, I'm gonna check out the other walls now. Of course, saving before shooting them, just in case there are there is more than one shootable wall that contains pool balls. And this one wasn't. There's a secret passage, and yeah, there are a few upgrades here. Not that I'm expecting anything else, because I've had to sneak through so many secret passages well, hidden secret passages at that, just to find my way to this area. I'm not expecting this area to contain much else then. Oh yeah, that's, that's why I'm shooting. 
through the walls because of that purple potion. So, what's behind that one? A key? There's a key behind so many walkthrough walls that were really hard to figure out, especially since in that yellow brick area there were so many indentations that you couldn't try every last one of them in a single day and there was a key behind it? What am I? Who am I supposed to be? Indiana Jones? Anyway, all I have to do now is to get out of this area and back into the red brick room if I can just find which indentations to take. I think it was this one, yep. Yeah. So yeah, there were a few rooms that I hadn't covered yet. There we go, there's one. Lots of enemies inside, but thankfully there's lots of food, so it's not nearly as bad as similar rooms in like level 13. Oh, and in level 13 I didn't have any weapon maxed out either, while now I have maxed out missiles, so, er, so they really go through everything like a, a, a hot knife through butter. Nope. That I've already been there and there are only a few meals. I've been there too. Now I don't think I've been there, so yeah, there's a, a few devils. Gee, how many healing items are there? My, you, you, would you have minded putting some of these in level 17 instead instead of having of forcing me to drink uh, through a water fountain for minutes upon minutes. Same for level 18 as well. Yeah, that was two really hard levels without a single food item. This was ridiculous. But here, there's more meals than I really need. It's funny how I can swallow as much food as I need. Yeah, I'm like, bet you 100 pirates can't take down my hungry ass while I keep eating and eating and eating while they keep shooting at me and I don't die simply because I eat enough food to put a hundred Michael Moores to shame. So yeah, where's... there's gotta be a door somewhere in this area. There we go. You know what's annoying about this game? How whatever you shoot is constantly up in your face. You know, in any other first-person shooter, you've got the gun in the lower right corner and you shoot, bull you shoot bullets, and they're a lot more discreet than that. Uh, you usually, it, well, because you can't see a bullet fly, but here, not only do you see whatever you shoot, your missiles fly, but they're also really gigantic! So, yeah, sometimes you're while you're shooting, you don't... You, there are times when you don't really see what's right in front of you, and this can lead to you falling down holes, for example. I don't think this has ever happened to me, this is just a hypothetical scenario, but you get the idea. So this is the last hallway and a whole bunch of them, and I got a few cloaks, so now where is the exit? Was it in this area, or was it in the area with all the, the indentations? I swear, if I have to go all Indiana Jones on every last one of these indentations, I am going to lose my patience very quickly. Don't think I've gone in the, those hallway, the, the, the outermost ones, so I'm just gonna check them out in case there's a path to the exit, doesn't look like it. So, yeah, I guess it's back to the main room here, and I'm going to have to check out every last one of those indentations. Doubt it, those are the ones, since right on the other side of that wall, well, there's the area I've just explored now, with all the, the, the adjoining hallways, so I guess I'm gonna have to start all the way back uh, in the western part. There's nothing. Gee, this gets real annoying real fast. I hope I don't have to feel my way through them or shoot every last one of them because, yeah, as you can see, I'm sick of shooting away with missiles. Now, what the hell? Where is the exit? I honestly have no clue now. Maybe it was in the area that I had uh, just left, you know, with all the adjoining hallways, but... Okay, maybe it's in this part? Hmm, somehow I doubt it, because that, that red brick area seemed pretty big. Oh, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to check out uh, 
the hallways again, but I'm gonna do that in the next video, so see you soon.